Now then, this is a video that follows on from the last one that I did about this subject. The transfer of LPG or propane gas. Recycling it or saving it or preventing a loss, uh, etc. Unfortunately, I, it's been quite windy and I needed to get on with it. So it was a bit of a windy day, so we got problems with uh, the wind noise. But hopefully you will just um, make allowances for that. Interestingly, on the last video, Heavy Diesel uh, made a comment that he used to, because I think he's into refrigeration, etc. He used to throw buckets of boiling water on the delivery tank to heat it up. And then someone else has com commented on that video uh, a while recently, I think it was, um, put the put the receiving tank in the freezer. Well, I think that's probably quite a good idea if you're talking small bottles for refrigerant and whatnot like that. But if you're talking propane, then you've got to have quite a big freezer. So it's a, the thing is, it's a matter of the difference in temperature between the delivery and the receiving tank. And if you can warm the delivery tank up as much as you can in the sun or what have you and have the um, receiving tank as cold as possible then obviously you've got a difference in pressure and the liquid moves quicker. But anyway we got there and it's nice to go back to a subject and um, realise on the last video you missed various bits out. So hopefully you enjoy this. Now then, we have yet another LPG car propane tank and it's got some uh, liquid propane in it which is great and I've removed the surround from all those connections just so it's easier to get to stuff and the wind is behind me and it's pretty blowy so we're going to get some noise in the camera but on that solenoid there we have a pipe which is a smaller pipe joined to a bigger pipe and then coming to this hydraulic hose okay and this way here comes the breeze is then connected to this gas cylinder that's a 19 kilo as in it will take 19 kilos of gas and you don't want to put any more in it because if it gets warm this release valve here will let gas out and you'll lose it so only put 19 kilos or less in it so I've weighed the cylinder and it weighs according to that set of scales which is really rough but it weighs about 20 kilos so there you go let's just move the camera around and I'll show you the business uh, on the tank so I'll try and shade the microphone there we this is an 85 litre tank no 83 litre tank There, you can probably just about see it, 83 litres, and we've got about 30 to 40 percent of gas LPG in this tank, so that's worth having. Yeah, and I think one litre of LPG weighs two kilos. That's something in my head that might be correct I think it was at one point but I can't remember now so what we do is we put 12 volts into this solenoid and I've isolated the right wires and it doesn't matter which way round they go the polarity doesn't matter because it's just a coil and so we will open the valve on the gas bottle and we'll put 12 volts into that 
first of all though I need to put a piece of wood here a piece of plywood or something just to keep the breeze off this tank because the black tank wants to be hot or warm and the receiving tank wants to be cool so we'll put a piece of plywood here to stop the breeze going across this and the sun is behind me so therefore if that's shaded against the wind that tank will warm up and it's all about a difference in pressure and the main thing here is on these tanks the liquid the LPG is drawn from the bottom of the cylinder because the the delivery pipe goes to the bottom so therefore you get pressure at the top of evaporating the liquid evaporating into a gas that creates extra pressure which then pushes the liquid through the delivery pipe and into the receiving cylinder hopefully that makes loads of sense so I'm just going to set this up have a battery 12 watt battery fairly remote you know two or three meters away just in case because there's no point having the battery sat on top of the gas cylinder just in case you know I can't see that it will be a problem but let's be safe than sorry okay let's just connect the 12 volts We've got gas transferring. I'm sorry, it's LPG. And I put the receiving tank on its side, and I don't know why, but I have. And just interesting to note at the moment that bit of pipe there. Is, uh, got frost on it it's cooling because of the joules effect right it's just happening I'll go away we've got this plywood hopefully keeping this tank a bit warmer and I'll be back to you in a while so here we go a couple of hours later that's Vertsy on naught and the sun went in so I did add a bit of heat just set on low just blowing on the bottom just to warm things up and we transferred 15 kilos of LPG great lovely and what's left in this tank I can actually use for preheating the the gas kiln yeah the first few hours we're only putting very gentle heat in and I can attach uh, the outlet of this through a regulator to the blowtorch and it will just gradually warm things up so use it up till it's empty hopefully you found this interesting or you know sparked a bit of interest that you can transfer gas relatively easy you just have to make up the various fittings blowing like mad at the moment right and then down there is actually made up a, a fitting with a hydraulic pipe to a hydraulic fitting which is then brazed into um, a propane tank fitting yeah that propane tank fitting came from Uncle Harold's shed again which is marvellous. Yeah. Well, here comes the wind again. Let's just spin round out the wind. And I just used uh, the the propane torch to to braze that, which is um, marvellous. So, comments and discussion. Love to hear from you. Hope you found it interesting. Cheers for now.